Alright, hello everyone, this is Kuroda giving you a shoutcast between Liquid Huck and Maka Prime here on Jungle Basin. Um, Liquid Huck opening up with um, some, I don't know, profanity. Don't know what it says because it's been blotted out on my machine, but doesn't really matter as Liquid Huck saying good luck, have fun, good luck, have fun, and now Maka Prime versus Liquid Huck. A matchup that I've wanted to see for quite some time. Liquid Huck, I've seen a lot of his replays, and he has very, very strong micro, and just plays a really solid build. Maka Prime, I don't know too much about. I do know that he's part of the Prime team, obviously, and he is a pretty big name player, except a lot of his replays are from GSL, and I can't watch those replays and study them and analyze them. So Maka Prime setting up that 10 Supply Depot now most likely will be coming up for 12 racks as now we see liquid huck moving out with a very very early probe in order to do some scouting scouting even before he gets his gateway down so that one probe will be able to see information here and figure out what exactly is going on inside the base no proxy barracks rush of any nature as maka prime just waiting for that scb to be able to lay down a barracks there it goes and now in comes the probe so the probe coming in for that harassment Probe now trying to deal damage towards that one SCV. SCV moving not all too much and now finally coming back off once again as the probe did take 20 points of shield damage and now deciding to back off. Back over here, Maka Prime also getting one refinery. Same thing, no, no assimilator just quite yet as Huck was getting a little bit distracted, I believe, in his harassment. This gateway is significantly later than normal. He's sitting at a 15 gateway instead of the 14 or even a 13 gateway as this probe still wandering around inside here. Perhaps it will be able to start recharging some of those shields and then turn around and deal some damage so we're trying to wander around there we go very very nice i'm just i'm just going around that one vespian geyser there and now the probe dealing damage it looks like the probe may become a hero probe no unable to get the last two hits on that one scv and the scv is going to return to its friends and a fresh scv steve is going to come in and try to deal some damage and no not going to as a marine is about to come out so this probe was trying to deal some damage was not able to and now this game is going to continue back over here we do see the gateway has been completed and now a cyber next core coming in so liquid huck doing a great job so far of just not allowing maka to do any real serious scouting we do see one marine now up on that high ground to the deny any probe scouting any further and now we see a reactor being placed down a reactor being placed down obviously the double trained marines also getting another barracks as well and now as many terran players like to do on scrap station and in the delta quadrant put another set of supply depots on the second entrance into the main base just so that you can keep track of it a little bit easier simon x core is now in play researching and warp gate and also getting a stalker just at, at the same time as the nexus is now currently being chrono boosted and getting more and more probes trying to get a stronger economic game SCV was able to come down here for just a moment, see that there is not a Nexus, and now knows that this is not going to be of any very fast expansion game so far, as one SCV now trying to return home. The probe, however, just going to go over here, activate one Zelnaga Watchtower, activate the other, it looks as though he wants to do, and yeah, Yoda speaking, I do a little, and as a couple Marines are now on this high ground. So taking a look at the Tech Lab, Tech Lab should be researching Stim Pack momentarily, as Marines with Stim are very, very strong especially against void rays we do see a sentry now coming in from huck so it looks as though huck is waiting to just build a very very slow game perhaps waiting to get about another 200 minerals or so in order to build a nexus here we do see a pylon currently being warped in and huck making sure that he gets that pylon in in order to and be not be supply locked as these scvs or sorry these probes are still scouting around the map so doing a great job trying to reveal and in comes this nexus finally we do see one sentry and one stalker on the high ground that sentry will have a fair amount of energy by the time any of these marines move out as the marines are still stationary so far marines and marauders are being trained up we do see a command center now being built here off to the side and will be lifted off and being placed down here in just a moment so reactor tech lab now researching stim pack marines Oh, sorry, Bunker now being placed down here as one probe trying to test the waters. Oh, quickly getting some Punisher grenades in the back there and now backing off once again. So this command center will be able to upgrade to an orbital command, come down in here, and now Maka will have a very, very strong economic lead And before this one Nexus comes into play. Taking a look, APM, just because some players like to see it, the current APM on Hawk is about 228 compared to Maka Prime's 150, so not too much coming in from Maka. But you got to remember that there hasn't been any real fighting so far 
so this is all just production macro uh, macro apm which means that both sides uh, armies are going to be very very strong command center finally upgrading to an orbital command will be able to lift off land here and then be able to start mining off of these additional mineral patches maka prime nearly at full saturation here if he transfers about 12 of these scvs over he will be able to harvest an additional 200 minerals every game minute um, one marine now on the way out in order to do some scouting as both sides don't like to play in the dark there are a lot of sentries here so a decent amount of sentries and with no factory down oh sorry factory but no armory down there's not going to be any thors to try to break those force fields and now these stalkers are going to quickly be able to take down that one marine there the marine trying to test the waters finds itself in running into a group of stalkers there three stalkers able to clean up that scouting marine and now a group of marines and marauders once again on the move one marine using those stim packs running out very very much ahead and now in comes an observer as well so that marine will may be able to take down that probe yeah there it goes just as that stim pack research has been completed and now you see huck with that economic advantage currently mining off of those 16 mineral patches like i said earlier and finally transferring some scvs over here maka should be calling mules down in just a moment as the fight is continuing sentries and stalkers on the move a very very heavy gas army you can see 950 gas army here and a lot of sentries as well those sentries may be able to perhaps then push force field and then push these units back and that would be a very very devastating effect as stalkers are now trying to test the waters oh in comes a scanner sweep taking down that one observer the observer obviously giving sight to huck to that high ground huck would have been able to start shooting at this supply depot and perhaps even this supply depot out of range of this one bunker allowing zealots to perhaps do some surrounding but i do not see there are any zealots in this army so far as a fresh observer about to make its way out across the map this is part of patch 1.1.3 there are no or though sorry those observers do cost uh, 50 minerals and 100 gas very very expensive units that go down to one scanner sweep essentially back over here orbital command only mining off the mineral patches not getting any of the additional gas meanwhile liquid hub is now taking these um, additional assimilators and now getting a very strong gas lead. you can see he, that he's mining double the amount of gas so far as he's trying to take down these rocks and perhaps take this as a third base so th this as a third base there is a rather small ramp here and then there is brush here for a second a wider ramp and we'll see how this and play will move out as there is currently one viking in the air just trying to do some scouting army wise you can see huck is starting to catch up once again one observer quickly gonna get shot down by a viking and some marines once again and a new observer will be forced to move out once again so both sides still playing sim starcraft getting a very strong economy going getting those that research going we're getting also the gravitic boosters for those observers so those observers will be able to move much more quickly um i believe it moves and a little bit faster or at the same speed as a viking i'm not 100 percent sure i'll have to keep track of that for you perhaps the same speed as a medevac 2.5 2.75 as these vikings are now making their way out we'll quickly see one forge being researching that research there the backdoor rocks have been taken down so at some point maka knows that liquid huck will be trying to take out this expansion one observer moving at a 2.81 so it moves at the same speed as a stalker so it will be able to outrun a viking which is very very important as this observer still wandering around the map needs to make sure to get out of there and now currently just floating there so maka prime it is very difficult to see a stationary observer um, moving observers and moving cloaked units are much more able to be spotted and now in comes one medevac here however it will quickly find a group of stalkers and those stalkers are going to quickly be able to take that down one marauder quickly dropped but only able to deal some damage towards the shields of a stalker there there are now a lot of vikings in the air not exactly sure what the vikings are there to counter as there is a no no um colossus um that i've seen so far no production buildings and this is just part of the game maka um not knowing that there are no colossus there is also a templar archives coming into place but there are also ghosts coming in from uh, maka prime so maka prime um, he's going heavy infantry and then knows that high templar and colossus are the counter so he's also going for a very heavy viking and now a ghost army build the ghost will have enough for a couple emp shockwaves as more ghosts are now being trained we do not see the mobius reactor being researched so those ghosts are not going to have 75 energy as they are being trained anyways so observers just across the map doing a great job keeping track keeping sight of the game so far as both sides have rarely lost any units so far at at this stage in the game we do see marauders vikings marines 
Ghost, Medivacs, it's just a standard infantry army with air support coming in from Maka Prime. Meanwhile, Liquid Huck has in, having a large group of Stalkers. The Stalkers do have the level 1 weapons upgrade and now also getting Stalker Blink. Stalker Blink obviously will be able to blink across this very, very small chasm here. Marines and Marauders will be able to walk down this ramp, but as soon as they try to walk down this ramp, then there may be some additional energy and additional units being focused down. Over here, we do see the Vikings now on the move. The Vikings in the air, able to shoot down any observers that they're able to spot. And now the Stalkers are running all the way home. But there is a very large army coming in from Huck. Both sides sitting at about a 5,000 mineral army, plus or minus 300 or 400. As more units are still being trained, you can see more more Vikings now pump, being pumped out, more Marauders being um, trained up as well. So up to a 5,000 mineral army, and both sides are even at almost every stage in the game. Maka now quickly taking down that one observer there. There is another observer over, over here. As both sides are now trying to move out, Ghosts are on a separate hotkey, so we'll be able to perhaps get some EMP shockwaves down. I do not see any pylons over here on the low ground, and now Liquid Huck just massing up a large number of Zealots. The Zealots do have the Zealot Charge upgrade, so they do move at a faster speed. And now what, what will happen here? And now both sides starting to engage. The Stalker's trying to engage as well. I do not see any size from coming in. EMP shockwave, unable to dodge that EMP... Oh, no, sorry, the blink, Stalker Blink unable to dodge that EMP Shockwave, but both sides continuing to fight. Stalker is now blinking up once again, trying to catch up to these units. Vikings now into that ground mode as well, and, and now we have a couple of those ghosts on the far side over here, continuing to just charge in. Liquid Huck doing a great job with these upgraded Stalkers, one armor, one uh, one weapons upgrade, and now able to just shoot down many of these units. Now Stalkers up on this, or sorry, Marauders up on this high ground, and will be able to offer some protection as Liquid Huck truly just winning out in that battle and now able to take up a third base. The main mineral patches are near, starting to be mined out. We do see a robotics base, so we could be seeing Colossus coming in in just a moment as well. The main mineral patches here in the main bases should be mined out in just a moment. And now Maka is going to be in a serious world of hurt as he does not have another command center yet set up. Army-wise, army wise, it is, it is definitely Liquid Huck's advantage. Economically speaking, Liquid Huck also has a brighter future as well as Maka now nearly running out of minerals in his main base already down to six mineral patches mules and having to add to that effect there as now stalkers just continuing to move around the map doing a great job production wise level two weapons upgrade and now getting that amulet research as soon as that amulet research is done we should probably see liquid hug just warping in a whole bunch of high templars all of them with 75 energy will be able to get a lot of size storm down and this bio ball army will take a lot of damage really, really quickly. The only way Maka Prime can get back into this game is by laying down bunkers, which he is doing as bunkers are immune to Psy Storm, and then using sniper rounds and EMP shockwaves to make sure that he does not take that much Psy Storm. Production-wise, level 1 weapons upgrade, and there are those High Templars that I talked about. Seven High Templars on the move. That is going to be a lot of Psy Storm coming in, just raining on top of all of these Marines and those Marauders, perhaps even getting a feedback or two onto some of those Medivacs. One bunker now on that low ground. Observer still in the air. This bunker will quickly get taken down. And as this fight continues, a missile turret trying to be built here, not going to work. As Stalker is able to blink away and now perhaps get them to perhaps get a force field and then trap a lot of those units onto the high ground. Salvaging that bunker will be able to at least save 100 minerals off of that. There it goes. And now in comes a Thor as well. So that Thor trying to deal some damage. Those High Templars, will they be able to get any damage? No. High Templars and quick one quickly getting shot down by a Thor. Only two rounds of attack. And now in come these Size Storm. Size Storm now dealing a lot of damage. Feedback once again. More Size Storm up onto that high ground. And you know, trying trying to fight more Size Storm once again. A very, very tight battle going back and forth. And no additional Size Storm available as these Marauders and Marines trying to move out. Will they be able to assign? No, no Force Field can be laid down as that one Thor will be able to simply break it. But Maka Prime losing units left and right here and now i believe that is just going to be game as those force fields are starting to disrupt any of the movement maka prime trying to do an emergency evac on those medevacs with those medevacs now trying to get back into this game marauders and marines trying to fight back and against a, a very very large growing army of stalkers zealots and sentries and that is gg maka prime saying gg well played so Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Liquid Huck and Maka Prime. Liquid Huck just playing a very strong economic game. He did go he did get the robotics bay, but he never trained one Colossus. He kind of scouted out Maka and realized just how heavy Maka was in training those Vikings. Those Vikings were just minerals and 
poorly spent and that's ultimately what did him in as the stalkers were able to deal a lot more damage thanks for watching thanks for listening once again